but DJ Taylor has a return or had a, had a rough uh, 2021. What do you see from him right now in spring practice? Do you think he can uh, go back to that 2020 form that he had? Well, you know, he's an explosive runner. Um, I think his biggest challenge coming off of last season was improving his decision-making skills and uh, do, picking your, your, your times when you, when you take shots or take chances. And I think he's improved this spring. He's been way more consistent just in catching the football and making some decisions right back around the goal line, which is where he needs to improve. And, Coach, to piggyback off that, outside of DJ, who do you feel that's maybe kind of, I guess, blossomed and improved to maybe be that second returner? Well, LV is uh, one of them. He's a really good catcher of the ball, and, and I think he'll be one of the guys that will help us. Um, he, unfortunately, hasn't been through many of the practices because of his, his health, and so he'll, he'll hopefully in, in training camp will be able to be out there consistently. And then I've been impressed with Elijah Badger. He's, he's a dynamic player with the ball in his hands, and, and so we'll look forward to him doing some of it as well. Coach, you mentioned how important good on good work is in the spring, but as a unit, as a special teams unit, what is the, the most important thing you'd like to see improvement on in spring? Well, we're losing our deep starting deep snapper and holder, and all of that's changing right now. So the continuity between those three guys on field goals is highly important because that's a direct scoring play. So that's number one. And then um, the coordination of our pump protection with the snaps, and again, all of that is a, is a growth period right now during the spring, and that's improving, and um, I'm pleased with our work. Hey, Sean, Chris Cartman, Center of Source. Um, can you give us your thoughts on the kicking situation right now? And then with Jace Feely specifically, what's his adjustment phase been like and how have you seen him kind of progress? Well, I'll start off with Jace. Jace has made major improvements uh, from the fall until now. Last year he got here during the middle of spring training, kind of thrust into a new environment, a higher level of football, and things were tough for him, went through the fall. But this spring I think he's made some some. Uh, Real good improvement, and I see a lot more consistency with him. I think it'll show up as we go through training camp. Now, we've got a young man named Robert Liss um, that, that we're, we're considering in that position, and then we signed Carter Brown, and uh, who's a very productive kicker out of Texas um, who's got a big skill set. In fact, he, he reminds me a lot of Zane uh, Gonzalez, in terms of his leg strength and his, his size, you know, he's a 6'1 guy, about 190, 95 pounds, good size. He's athletic, was a soccer player, so he'll be joining the, the mix as well. So that's going to be pretty open then, you think, in August? It will be, yeah. They'll get here in June, and then, of course, they'll work together. I can't go on the field to them until we start training camp, but I think our training camp will be competitive, and we'll let it unfold during that, and we'll create some competitive situations during practices to try to try to check out where they are from a mentality standpoint and able to handle the, the pressures that go along with that position. Michelle Gardner, Arizona Republic. Coach, can you talk about the growth of Eddie Shaplitsky since last year? Obviously, he had a decent freshman campaign and what you've seen from him. Well, first thing I think, there's big growth in the way you pronounce his name. We're all starting to get that right. That was a challenge, first of all. <laughs> Eddie is, uh, is a, boy, is he, a, he is a worker. He is uh, cerebral about his position. He's a technician. He's really improved. He's improved in the weight room. He's improved with his strength development. I think we're start, I'm starting to see some 5-2 and 5-3 balls in practice, which is good. And uh, sometimes one of his liabilities is trying to be too perfect, and I think he's growing out of that. Just sometimes you've got to just bang it. He's been, he was very consistent last year, for, particularly for a freshman putter. The game's not too big for him, so I, I see him being a very positive part of, of our whole, whole situation going forward.